Hey guys, we're back at it. And today we're going to start stripping off the gearbox, the diff and the exhaust. This is my first proper look under the car. Turns out, haven't it? It's not too bad. Bit of surface rust here and there. Nothing too bad. No big holes or anything to worry about. I'm going to be taking the gearbox out today. To remove the exhaust first. Then these heat shields, because the prop shafts underneath that. And then we'll be taking the diff out as well. Because the plans with this, that's going to be removed, welded up. And we're doing the manual conversion. So the first thing we're going to remove is this triangular brassiere. Now using a 16mm socket, I'm going to remove this triangular brace. From the manifolds here, from the downpipe which leads to the cat, there's three bolts, nuts rather, on each part of the exhaust. Uh, these have really corroded, so I'm going to have to hit, hit the socket on to them to try and get them off. One way to remove it. And that's the left side exhaust. Got the manifold, them three are out. And unfortunately, up there, all three of them sheared. So I'm going to have to get the bolts out of the manifold and, and put new ones in. It's not too much of a big deal. So this end is loose now. So uh, next thing is we need to remove these two brackets across here and then a hanger up there and right up the back of the back box and it should be ready to come out give that two minutes there for the rubber mounts for the exhaust and they are the exhaust bracket to chassis these are 13 mil I'm not going to take these two all the way out because it'll stop the exhaust just falling completely off until we get the, the mounts off of the back box. And whilst we've got easy access to these, this is part of the front wheel arch liner, which we're not going to be needing. So we can undo the bottom side here and then when we take the wings off, we can get the top end then. Okay, and at the back end of the exhaust, we've got one hanger. Just here, 
which is two bolts to take it off. Uh, it's connected, there's a little vacuum pipe going to that. So you just pull that off and just on the underside there, there's another exhaust rubber. So if I'm done one at this side, but they're so badly corroded, I just can't undo them. So I'm gonna pry the, the rubber off. Right, just off one side. I've got this little vacuum pipe here. Pull him off. Now it's just the other rubber this side now. That's it. It's just that centre brace now and it'll the whole thing will pull down. So don't do what I done and forget to remove the sensors. So little plugs here, there and there. Just need to pop this off. Just unclip them, pull apart and then and continue to remove the exhaust. Oh, that's them. Same. One of these. What a nightmare. Now, the next thing we're going to be removing is the diff. First thing we're going to undo the drive shaft. So there's six of these bolts going onto the diff there. I'm going to jump ahead because this is quite slow. So now the drive shafts are disconnected from the diff. You need to undo the prop shaft runs under these heat shields. And it connects just under this to the diff. So you need to remove this next to undo the diff from the prop shaft. Then the diff can go. And I'm also going to get rid of this heat shield. I'm going to keep these here, I'm going to keep this one, and it runs up to there, obviously because it's straight off the manifold there, down here, and on my compact I found that halfway through the day, you know, when it gets really hot, all the sound deadening here, it's starting to melt, and it goes like sticky tar, I need to remove the sound deadening in it, inside, or put some type of heat wrap uh, tape on the exhaust. So to remove this heat shield, there's only a few 10 mil bolts holding it in. One up here, two along there, and the rest of it, these have corroded through anyway. It was held on by the exhaust hanger here, but um, you won't be needing it. And remove this. Two 10 mil bolts here. There's a 13 mil under there. Another one, another two there. And the bigger one is then a 18 mil. Off. 
Okay, you need to put the car in gear, or in my case, because it's an auto, I'll just put it in the drive, and then that lock the prop for me, so then I'm able to undo them without the whole thing spinning around. Right, my spare battery's flat. So, and with this car, you've got to put the battery in it, turn the key to get it back out of drive. So, um, you can improvise. So, if you can wedge something in there, just so, so long you stop that turning, it's, it's the same thing as putting it in. Next thing we have to remove is the center. So we've got the guibo then where it comes from the gearbox. The center is two 30mm bolts. There's six bolts holding this on. All of them 13mm. But to get the two of them, you need to take this heat shield off, and these are 10 mil. the three bolts pulled in the prop shaft in. So we've got three 18 mil nut and bolts. There's one last thing. This nut here, slacken that off, and this front portion will slide into the back portion a bit. on the front of the diff and there's one big one at the back and then the so these front two uh, 18 mil Now the front two bolts are off. Also got the nut off the rear one. Just left the bolt in so the diff doesn't drop. 
So the only thing keeping it in now is the two mounts either side for the anti-roll bar. So you undo those, it's a 13mm bolt. The anti-roll bar will swing down, allowing you need to get the diff out. So I had to cut this bolt out, this side, as it just kept spinning, which allows me to drop the anti-roll bar. And now I can pull a diff out. Next thing are the bell housing bolts, which holds the gearbox to the engine. Got a mixture right up there. There's a little 10 mil, which just holds this metal plate, like a dust cover. Then we got these two then, which are E12 and E14. So I'm gonna go ahead now and do all there. I think two or three up the top. Various going around, a couple up the side, there, and on the auto box, I have to undo this plug. This is the beeps. You beep. Even on through there. I've done that now. Perfect. We finally got the gearbox out, and that's going to be it for this video. Catch you on the next one.